Hi folks, Six Slices here. Last time we looked at uh, this otter knife and today we're going to look at something which unfortunately suffers from the same problem of length but also has another issue. And that is this. Now this is quite a well-known knife uh, although it's, it's one of those, it's one of these, it's a bit like the um, Duke Duke French knife. It's, you know, it's very simple, very, very basic. And, um, but it's achieved a sort of cult status, um, which it did both originally in Germany and then um, with um, a lot of American servicemen took these back as souvenirs. Uh, at the end of the Second World War. They've been around for a little while, I believe um, from about the 1870s or thereby. Uh, now I must make apologies, I have cribbed a lot of information about this knife straight out of Stefan Schmalhaus, Dr. Stefan Schmalhaus, his book, The Gentleman's Pocket Knife, which is an excellent book. If you enjoy a little bit of knife porn, he has fantastic pictures of some very, very beautiful knives from his collection. Um, and there's a bit of background and information as well. Now, this is this was known in Germany as the Wilhelm II knife, or Wilhelm... Uh, Me I don't know what two is in Germany. God, I'm ignorant. Um, anyway, whether, he, whether Wilhelm II ever carried such a thing... We don't know. Uh, Stefan uh, tells a little tale about how he used to like to uh, cut the what he calls suspenders. Americans would know what I meant by suspenders, but what we in Britain would call braces of um, officers when they were exercising, senior officers when they were exercising with a pocket knife. What a wit. I'm sure he was a fantastically funny chap. Or maybe not. Anyway, so this... Uh, to Americans became known as the black cat knife um, simply because it had a picture of a black cat on it on the front. It's actually, its proper name is the Makata. Now, Makata, it's on there. Oops, it says he demolishes his, his thing on. Uh, Makata. Um, is apparently the guy that invented this knife, his name was Kaufmann, Heinrich Kaufmann. Um, and apparently if you translate Kaufmann uh, from German into Latin, you get the word Mercator. Um, also the fact it um, was exported all over the world. Um, the, you know, the term Mercator comes in there, type of map, Mercator projections and so forth. Um, who knows what the real reason why it's called Makata is, but I think that's um, certainly often given as the original uh, etymology of the word. In terms of its construction, it's very, very simple. You've just a folded piece of, in this case, black steel um, with a uh, lockback mechanism. Now, this is one of the things that makes it a prob problem in the UK because uh, lockbacks are not allowed, locking knives are not allowed to be carried without good reason. And, um, you know, one has to ask, what's the good reason why you would need that? When you could carry something more like that, but slightly smaller, um, you know, what would be your... Your reason why this one is important this this lock is so vital um that you need to have it now personally i think uh, a locking knife is a good thing but uh, not good enough for me to want to go to prison so i'm not that worried they're available in stainless steel or carbon steel and they've got a little bale at the end um and on the back it, oops hits the camera it says Makata, Germany, which obviously is made for expert, export because it, uh, it says uh, Germany in English. So, um, 
Oh, Germany Solingen on the tang as well. I don't think I showed you that, do I? Uh, but now, actually, when I first caught, saw these, I thought, um, I couldn't see the point. It looks far too basic. But actually, it's a really nice, slim knife to fit in your pocket. It's a good size to carry. Um, and certainly would be um, uh, a good one to... Uh, to carry if if one was allowed unfortunately you're not allowed to carry this one incidentally this um k55 k kaufman first k uh 55 which is the number of the street where their factory is located i believe and the final care for cats which is german for cats um so i don't i don't know what the what sort of cat that is or what its significance or why it's there um, perhaps somebody who does know and can uh, um, put something in the comments. But as I say, very simple knife. Now they're available in a number of uh, formats of, uh, of materials that start from about 20 quid and go up to about 60 quid. Um, I don't know what they cost over in the States, but I suspect i probably put the same number in dollars and you're probably about right. Um... And I don't know what they cost in Germany, whether these are particularly bargain things or whether they're simply made for export. But uh, I think I would carry one if I could carry one. Uh, they, they might be cheap, but they're uh, a good, you know, well-made, reasonably easy to operate. That, that action is stiff enough that you know it's going to lock, but it's not so stiff that uh, that you can't operate it. Even I can with my dodgy hands. And obviously one of the other advantages of a lockback is that the action to open it is relatively light compared to um, a slip joint knife. Now if you've got dodgy hands like mine, that matters. For the rest of the world it's probably no big deal. But uh, that's one of the things I quite like about it. Anyway, so there we are. There's the Otto Messer. Uh, Incidentally, as Kaufman was the company that made them originally, they uh, um, uh, Kaufman went um, um, bust or was liquidated in about 1995, I think, and the uh, Otter Otter Messer took over the manufacture of these knives and and um, have continued ever since and still manufacture them today. So there we are. If you like this stuff. Please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of it, please uh, subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell. Thank you very much. Bye.